Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalhub on Facebook. All right, uh, applique with the HTV around it. That's what this video is. So right now I'm working in Embrilliance. Um, I use Stitch Artist, but I have all of the little modules that go with it, including um, Essentials. Where's my little thing at? I went past it, didn't I? Oh, nope, right here we go. Oh, it's too big. Try this one. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so I have just chosen my letters that I want, but I have to get this um, into something that the machine can read. And even though I have the 650, since I am using Embrilliance and not a brother program, I can no longer use the PEZ function. Not nice, but that's okay. I can go in and fix this. So let's come over here to color. So I know that this yellow, because it's the first color, is more than likely the first uh, tack down stitch. So I'm going to change it to applique position, not material. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to come in through here. And I'm going to pick every yellow. And I'm going to change that to position and click OK. We'll grab this yellow one and position. Okay, the last one I'm going to save it when I do it. This one, applique position, save all, and we'll do. Oh, there's my other Nana. Click OK, and now let's bring it over into Sure Cuts. Oh crap, I saved over it. I didn't want to do that. Oh well. Okay, so here it is. And of course, because I'm not actually embroidering around this, I can change the size and do what I want with this. Since it's just going to be cut out of fabric, okay, and then I'm going to put the HTV around it. I'm not going to be doing any stitching, so I can adjust the size of each letter um, as I want to. Alright, so I can come in here. Why is that doing that? It's not highlighting it for me. Let's see here. Hmm, it's not selecting it for me. That is strange. It will not give me the ability to select that. Hmm. Okay, well. Maybe I need to shut this down and restart it. Let's try that. Okay, got it fixed. Sometimes when you're, you, if your sure cuts a lot starts to act that way, just back out, save it as a scout file, and bring it back in, and it'll start acting right. Okay. But if you notice, I am missing the holes in my A. Well, what I can do is I can either... Uh, try to erase these, but sometimes the erasers don't capture what you need. Let's try this one. Okay, this works. And if you have a point where your erasers don't work quite right, you can take the pen, draw some points, and note edit it if you have like shaky hands or something like that and you're worried about getting a good uh, straight line but you're covering it with HTV so you really don't have to worry about it yeah good enough I think yeah that'll work it'll be behind the HTV so I'm not too worried about it okay So now I need to figure out what I'm going to do because I have to get it to fit around here, correct? Yes, I do. So let's come up here to effects. Let's do a shadow layer. How much do I need? Well, I'm going to need probably about 
something like that okay but I'm also going to need it to lay over it just a little bit so I'm going to click this click OK and let's take a look at what we have here okay so I need to make sure that those are centered and you do that by coming over here untick the two page Oh, I forgot. And this is taking forever. See, not responding. Okay. I have to group this because I ungrouped it. Okay. I know that center because I just undid it all. little red dot right in there okay so now I need to trim this out okay because I don't want my fabric sitting on top of my HTV because the HTV goes on top and that would just cover it up right so what I need to do is I need to make a duplicate of this okay I need to make sure it's all centered then the path and we're going to do a back minus the front so we're going to keep the back and we're subtracting the front from it taking it away okay there we go and I know it's overhanging the page right now that's okay we'll deal with that in a little bit okay so there that fits okay Let me bring it over just a little bit all right so that fits but we need a little bit of an overhang all right, so we need to grow this outside just a smidge, okay? And you think, well, how do I do that? Well, the trick is to come back up here to your effects. Go to Shadow Layer again. So we're going to add a little bit of a layer to this one. Okay, so you see it added just another little bit, and I'm going to click OK. Now, let's pull the original away. Let's take this one up here. Now, you can see when I have this still uh, highlighted how much of that overhangs and catches my fabric letters because that's what the original Nana will be, is the fabric letters. So when I release it, that's what it will look like. Okay, so if you don't want this much HTV showing, when you do your original shadow layer, don't make it as thick, okay? So don't make this one as thick. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so this one, when you first do your first shadow layer, your effects. So let's do this again. Maybe you only want it like that, okay? Now let's go through an object. We're going to duplicate again. Now we're going to do a back minus front. Remember path, you can only have two objects in your path function. Okay. Effects, we're going to go up here. We're going to add one. Okay, one tick to that. Click OK. Rid of this one because that's the original. We're going to bring this back over here. Okay, so that's mu how much will overhang. So there you go. Okay, so now if I want to go through and I want to save all of this into a, a file, and I need to save two because I went and saved over the file that I already had done. Smooth move, Jen. I'm going to go and I'm going to make a second page because I need one for my HTV and I need one for my fabric. So I'm going to come up here to the green plus sign, page four, Woo. and I'm going to make 
a fabric page. Okay, so I don't care what page number it is, it's my fabric page. Okay. But I first need to make sure that these are the correct size because I don't want my machine shutting down and restarting when I go back or when I stick my stick in there. Okay, so first I need to duplicate that because I need another one of them. Can't be going around without it. I could duplicate it when I got to the machine, but I'm lazy and I don't want to do that. Okay, so there's that one. Nice big honk and hunk of stuff there. Let's bring it up, bring it over. And there's one very important thing that you need to do when you're using HTV. Do you remember what it is? Very good, you have to mirror it. So we'll do that after we get it all sized. How big do I want Nana? I'm gonna put this on a blanket, probably both of them on a blanket. Okay. Which one do I want this one to go in? I got all these Nanas laying all over the place like they're Legos. Uh, no, I'm not, not too keen on that. Well, I don't know. And that needed to be moved. See, and then I love in shortcuts a lot when you hover over it, it gives you what lays underneath there. Okay, so that looks okay. I'm pretty pleased with that. So let me take this guy over here. Now let's size it up. So you got to pull it in. And remember, when you're working in shortcuts a lot, because we have the scan and cut, we need to make that custom size map. And if you look on my paper tab over here, hang on, right here, 12 scan and cut. Okay, so that's my 12 inch mat. And that makes sure, because watch, if I flip it over to a 12 by 12, look, it looks like I have all this extra room. Well, if I go and I stretch these bad boys out, when I get to my scan and cut, it's not going to work. Sometimes it shuts it down and sometimes it doesn't. It'll just be gray these will be gray and not the solid or not the black lines that we're used to okay so make sure you make your custom size mat if you need help doing that there is a video on my youtube channel search custom and that will come up for you it's really easy to do okay <clears throat> so i'm going to highlight my inside words which are my fabric words send to layer page fabric send to layer page fabric okay so now these are all my HTV things that are going to be cut out I have them on their 6 by 12 portions of the mat or 6 by 11.65 whatever portions of the mat so I will cut my uh, pink glitter or um, whatever I have the I think this Nana likes oh god what is it that zebra stripe stuff wild Nana this one likes purple, so I'll probably do a purple glitter and the zebra stripe glitter stuff out of HTV. So, this being HTV, what do we need to do? Object, transform, flip horizontal mirror, not flip vertical. This one. Oh, that looks funky. Object, transform, flip horizontal mirror. And that's what I need to do over here I don't need to do that with these okay but boy you sure do want to grab these and make them bigger don't you don't do that that'll mess up your entire design okay now what do I do about these little guys over here I should just be able to go ahead and save these right no if you do that your machine will shut down and restart you can just get rid of these little fellers okay now what I definitely need to do is I need to go export and let me grab one of my sticks. I need to export to my stick when it decides to come up ever. I haven't named this stick yet. I can't use that stick. It has that's one stick that has a bunch of my files on it. If you um 
watching this, make sure you back up all of your files and back them up in multiple ways. Online, with a stick, um, with an external hard drive. Do all of that because of our files are so very important. We've got Nana HTV. Okay. Now I also have to come in and export this as well. Export. Change this. Don't ever use SVGs. They take forever to open. Nana. What is this? Fabric. Okay. There we go. You have to export each page individually. That's the only downfall, but it's okay. Okay. Let's check our previews just to make sure everything is hunky-dory. I should have did this before I exported, but it's okay. Preview. Awesome. All of our lines are clearly visible and where we need them to be. Okay, guys, now you're ready to cut. Um, I will do the camera video <clears throat> and show you how to do all of this um, in the next video, all right? If you have any questions, come and find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. I do not answer questions here on YouTube because I am way too busy, and I apologize. But if you do become a member, or even if you need to send me a message, um, please do that there. Uh, it's not a ploy to get more people to join. That's not it at all. It's just I really enjoy helping people, and that is the only way I have um, to reach people is on Facebook. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.